Welcome to a new episode of Resolute Fitness. Today's episode is on Ricky Garrard. Also going to be talking about the interview that he did on the CrossFit Games podcast. That was that's on YouTube. I'll put the link down below with Chase Ingham. So I think it's divided public opinion on Ricky Garrard coming back. If you're unfamiliar with who he is, he finished third in the CrossFit Games four years ago. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Keeping out. Patrick Vellner from that third place. Shortly after the games, he then got um, banned for four years for using two different illegal substances, um, PEDs. I'm not going to go into sort of all that stuff, um, and there's plenty of articles sort of covering that, so I don't think there's any any need to. But today, what I wanted to to discuss is. Um, like how I feel on on this and and what my sort of a, opinion is with it, because like I said, it's it's really sort of divided opinion. So on one side, you've got people saying that he's sort of cheated the sport and that he's not welcome back into the world of of CrossFit, and on the other side, you've got people saying that he served his time for four years and that he should be given a chance to come back. Okay, so December the 16th, the Dubai Games is happening and he got an invitation. It's invitation only this year. Normally you have to do a qualifier. He got an invitation to compete in the Dubai Games. This will be his first competition back as as an athlete. Now, before before I go into anything, there's a, there's a few things that um, I think that we should be aware of. So the first things first is the interview with the CrossFit Games with Chase Ingham was, um, what was it, yesterday or the day before. We're now on to Thursday. Let me just check that actually. Yeah, that was posted 17 hours ago. Uh, it's Thursday the 30th of September as recording this now. Um, he got accepted for the, the Dubai that went public sort of this week or the back end of last week and now he's done the interview so straight away there is you know it's a coincidence that he wants to sort of come clean now um, after the four years now that he can compete and now that Dubai is coming up um, he's also going to be coming over to America he's going to be training in, in Miami and then obviously the CrossFit season trying to, trying to go to the CrossFit Games um, on top of that, to sort of make it um, a little bit not as much black and white, you've got the whole Matt Fraser thing. So when when he first got found that he had took something um, illegal and, and banned, he then sort of went to CrossFit headquarters saying that he saw something happen with, with Matt Fraser. Again, that's explained in the, the podcast where he, he saw Matt Fraser um, whilst they were test doing the testing, he was in the back room. Matt Fraser was there, and he had like um, what appeared to be some sort of gel, and then he, he spat it into a water bottle, sort of changing the colour of the water bottle. Now he took that information, spoke to CrossFit headquarters, they investigated it, came back, and um, it was chewing tobacco or something. That's that's what came out in the podcast. Along with this, Matt Fraser did another podcast with uh, Josh Bridges, um, and he's pretty upset with with sort of them allegations four years ago, and that it's sort of come up now, understandably. So, so that's that's going on in the background, and then there was also a, a nasty Nancy workout that. Uh, Ricky Garrard did and sort of called out Matt Fraser again, which upset a lot of people. So there's been some actions that have gone which um, have sort of made him into this villain character and that now seems to be the thing that CrossFit is going to run with. So you've got like the, the good guys and then you're going to have like him as, as the pantomime villain really. 
Uh, but that, that aside and clearing all the, the noise away, um, where, where I stand with it is he took, he took something illegal to try and perform better. Now everything else is, is noise, um, just there's, the, there's the whole thing that he was saying that he didn't need it and he could have done that. That's maybe, maybe true, but this stuff helps. However you, you package it, it, it helps. If you can do an extra, especially we're talking like elite, elite level. So like sleep makes a massive difference. Hydration, the right food, um, supplementation, legal supplementation. And then if you can, if you can have something that's just going to give you an inch, that, that's massive. Because again, these, these guys are finishing workouts within seconds of each other. Uh, minutes of each other on like some of the big ones so a fraction here and a fraction there makes a big difference and if you can recover quicker if you can if your um, blood can become more oxygenated or um, whatever it is your veins become a little bit more open or a little bit more testosterone this stuff is is going to help so it is a massive advantage so we took it it did help, he finished third, and then he's been banned for four years, served his time, so the rules are that he's allowed to come back. Which, where I am from, from a pure point of view, yeah, he should be able to come back. Um, people can still, I think it's would be only fair for people to, to remain sceptical, because you don't know, you, do, you don't know if he's, it could get it could get busted again. Um, similar things happened in in the UFC. Uh, TJ Dillashaw. TJ Dillashaw. I was a massive fan. Loved watching his fights. Um, I even loved his his training. His training with a guy in California who um, really really intelligent. A lot of fighters there. Um, but then he gets he gets he gets um, busted for for taking some stuff serves his ban, comes back. So I do believe that people should be given second chances, but in the, in the same token, like they also need to earn like the, the trust and respect of people as well. So yeah, I, I think, yeah, comes back. Um, like I said, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna watch, but then the same token, I'm not naive to think that it, it couldn't happen again. Because it could. Um, one of the people who I I admired for years was was Lance Armstrong. Everything that he came through, and then and then obviously all the denial about the stuff he was taking. And again, it's never sort of like black and white. There might be other people doing it, and there might be reasons behind it. But but ultimately, like if the sport says you can't can't take something, you can't take it. And, and that bit really is black and white, um, regardless of what anybody else is doing. So that's that's where I sort of stand on on him coming back. Um, and just to clarify, I'm I'm excited to see how he performs, but in the same token, I'm not naive enough to think that he's come back completely clean. He, he might not be. So I'm, I'm going to watch and hope that he's not, uh, and we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what happens on, on this front. But I wanted to do a little video, because like I said, there's a lot of sort of divided opinions. And I think, I think those that don't want him anywhere near the sport have, have the right to think like that. But in the same token, like, he served the ban, you know, he served the, the four years, nobody's perfect. Uh, he should be given the chance to come back and then if he does it again then yeah he should be I don't know what the rules are for being caught twice um, so yeah we shall we shall see if you haven't seen um, the interview um, that would probably be a separate video if, if I wanted to analyze that and go through it because I have I have like a mixed opinion overall I thought it was it was a good interview but there was 
Chase Ingram sort of said that the aim of it was to, to clear out all the noise, which which I think it did. But I think there was a few points where we could have like dug in a little bit. So yeah, that's a snapshot of my my opinion on on the interview. Okay, right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you could like, subscribe. That'd be much appreciated. And um, by all means, leave your comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I, I think ultimately it's just not a perfect, the world is not a perfect place, situations aren't perfect, we don't know what other people go through that lead them on the paths that lead them to where they are, so um, yeah, we'll see, we'll watch with bated breath, alright, I'm out, bye bye.